welcome to Green School. I'm Ben McCrory, head of admissions here. So we're standing on the bridge, which uh, links both sides of the Green School campus uh, across the Ayung River here. Uh, three years ago, when I first got to Bali, this was the only structure that had been built at the school. And it's a beautiful piece of architecture. It's also a really wonderful symbol of some of the things we're trying to do here. This is a bridge that uh, links the physical sides of our campus, but we're also trying to cross cultures here. We're trying to connect uh, the 21st century with some more traditional ways of uh, in inhabiting this planet. Okay, so we're gonna start the tour and come follow me. We'll go look at a few uh, interesting things around the campus. So one of the things we talk a lot here at Green School about is integrated learning opportunities. And the idea of taking that classroom academic learning and applying it to this big beautiful campus in a lot of very hands-on uh, experiential environmental ways. Uh, these patties were actually planted by Green School students. From grades one through nine, every Green School class last year got their own rice patty. A sort of social studies project looking at the role of rice in Balinese history and culture and mythology. Uh, and children will then be tending the patties. We actually, you might have seen the scarecrows there. Those were built by some of our, our primary grade uh, children. And students are going to be uh, harvesting the rice and then getting to eat the rice that they've grown. This so is a clubhouse project. And these students in their math class studied basic principles of architecture and engineering. They had a design project in their art class. They all built little 3D models using bamboo twigs of a perspective structure. They picked a piece of land. They came down. They cleared it. Three Balinese craftsmen came, taught them how to work with the tools, the material, made sure nobody went into the river. Um, one of my favorite features is the windows up there. Those are actually recycled uh, car windscreens. So, uh, we do want our students to be able to uh, pass exams and, and move on to the next level, but we also are looking for them to be learning for more than just the purpose of taking a test. Um, so traditionally, to get electricity from a river like this, you have to build a dam. And you create a vertical drop, and that spins a turbine, and friction, and eventually electricity. Cylinder. We built the cylinder out of locally acquired stone and what you see here is the effect of very simple physics. You have about a one meter vertical drop from the entrance of the tunnel to the cylinder so there's a little bit of gravity and you have the centrifugal force created by the cylinder itself and as you can see the water gets pushed into this very strong vortex or whirlpool. Now so far we have not yet harnessed the power that we're the potential energy that we're creating here but within a few months time if all goes well we'll have a, turbo, a, a, a turbine that is suspended and that spins horizontally by the power of the vortex. The water then goes straight back down the hole, right out that channel, right back to the river. So we borrow the water for about 20 or 25 seconds. Um, it's certainly not zero impact, but it's very low impact, especially compared to traditional forms of creating hydropower. Fish can actually swim through there. Uh, I once saw a monitor lizard about that long swimming around and around and down and out. Um, children, maybe not, so we have the cage here. But again, we talk here a lot about experiential learning, hands-on learning. grade four classroom. This is one of our beautiful green school primary grade classrooms. And uh, as with most of our structures, we don't have any walls. We're totally open air here. And even in the middle of a really hot, sunny day in Bali, once you've recovered from the journey of getting here and have a chance to settle down, it feels very comfortable. We have natural breezes coming through. We have natural light. And you'll see around the classroom beautiful bamboo desks and chairs. Uh, again, trying to use uh, as many natural, uh, local, sustainable, renewable materials as possible. We're now standing in the Green School Kindergarten, which is one of my very favorite uh, structures in the school. Really love this space here. Uh, just to give a sense of the, the contrast between the uh, uh, primary grade classroom and our early childhood program. Um, I really love some of the bamboo furniture in this, uh, this classroom. We have a beautiful Nautilus uh, bookshelf over there and uh, the kind of amoeba uh, cubby holes uh, back there. Really beautiful, really creative use of, of uh, the material. So we're looking at one of the most exciting new projects at Green School. This is an enclosure for primarily Bali starlings. Those are the white birds you see in there. And they are an endangered species. By some counts, there are as few as 20 of them living in the wilds of Bali today. As of about two months ago, Green School has become home to a breeding program for Bali starlings. Uh, so I think we're one of the few schools in the world that can probably claim uh, that students here are learning about an endangered species, not just from a book, not just from a video, but by actually getting to take part in taking care of and helping to grow the species. Uh, so we're standing in our main school building. We call this the heart of school. And I think of this as the bamboo cathedral sometimes. It's a pretty extraordinary structure. It's getting us a lot of acclaim from the architecture design world. Uh, it's our main school building, as I said. We have here office space. We have 
lunch room, this downstairs area. Upstairs we have our library, our computer lab. We have a beautiful visual arts studio. And then at the very top of the structure we have some classrooms for older students. Um, yeah, what can I say? Three intersecting bamboo spirals all connected. Uh, it's, uh, it's a really magical space. Uh, I have to pinch myself that I get to call this my office. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing. So of all the unusual features at Green School, I think this is probably the most unique. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're the only school in the world that has a purpose-built mud wrestling arena. And that's not a joke. We actually have a wonderful Balinese martial art form that's based at Green School, founded about seven years ago by a young Balinese uh, Taekwondo champion. And he created a hybrid which uh, combines different martial arts styles from around the world, Indonesian silat wrestling, capoeira, Taekwondo, judo, and then brings those together with traditional Balinese and Indonesian cultural forms. Uh, so drama and dance and shadow puppets and gamelan music. And once a month on the full moon, we have an amazing performance that takes place here, public performance. Green school kids do this as part of their physical education. Some are learning Balinese martial arts. Uh, some of the younger children are just coming once a week and playing in the mud, having a great time. So definitely one of our more, uh, more unusual, if not the most unusual things about the school. I love it, great. So we're at the uh, final stop of our virtual tour of Green School today. Thanks for coming along and hope you've enjoyed the ride. Uh, we're standing in the middle of our beautiful playing field and behind me is that big heart of school building. Uh, you definitely get a sense of the, the size and scale of it from here. Um, if you're watching this tour, you're already on our website. And if you're interested in coming to see Green School for yourself, we love to do tours during the school day for families who are looking at the school for their children uh, to potentially enroll in here. You can email me, ben at greenschool.org or admissions at greenschool.org. We also do public tours every Monday and Wednesday at three o'clock. Those are for people who have a general interest in coming to see what we're up to here. Uh, so please feel free to join us for one of those. We are looking for sponsors for our Balinese scholarship program. So if you're interested in becoming a part of that and sponsoring one of our students here or donating some money and getting your name on a bamboo pole in the heart of school, you can also email me about that. So thanks so much and look forward to seeing you here in Bali sometime. Jimmy Kasibanyat.